We can see his quality will get better and better the more he, he plays with us. Felix, I think he's more like a very creative, like a round the strike and number 10 type of player. There's never been really a spell of over two, three weeks where Felix looked good for Atletico. I'm glad to have him gone. João Felix used to be one of the brightest and most exciting young products to come out of Portugal since Cristiano Ronaldo. But nowadays he went from scoring goals in the Champions League for Barca to training by himself ahead of preseason. João Felix has gone off the radar and his next move for his career is still up in the air. So let's quickly recap how he got to this point. We should really begin back in the 2018-19 season where João Felix would make a name for himself. After he made his way through the youth ranks of the Benfica Academy, he found some consistent minutes in the first team. That was all he needed to show off his talent, and he went on to score 20 goals in the 2018-19 campaign, which at his age of 19 years old was world class. This incredible season saw his abilities be sought after by some of the biggest clubs in Europe, the question being which huge club he would land at. Eventually, Diego Simeone's Atletico Madrid would win his signature for just 127.2 million euros, the club's biggest signing of all time, and Felix's contract was 8 years long. This move was a statement across Europe because no other club had paid this type of money for a youngster who had yet to prove himself in a top 5 league. The beginning of his career at Madrid was very exciting with scoring and assisting several times in his first handful of games for the club, and the fans started to fall in love with him. The more playtime he got, however, the more you could realize something was a little bit off. It's hard to describe, but you could say that Joao Felix just looked a little bit awkward in this Atletico side. The reason behind that being not on the pitch, but actually on the sideline. The Simeone Felix partnership has never been or ever will be incredibly strong. Después no sé lo que hacen los demás. Yo intento dar todo, buscar los caminos que puedan acercarnos a, a lo mejor para el club y para el equipo. Y a partir de ahí trabajo siempre pensando en, en querer ver lo mejor dentro del campo para el bien del, del club. Simone's trust in Joao has never seemed too durable for Joao's next modest tip in form to shatter it. Safe to say that it's very difficult for him to keep a place in the starting 11 under Diego Simeone in general. And considering the pressure he was under being one of the best young talents on the globe, he was bound to hit a lot of bumps in the road at one point point or another. Joao Felix had expectedly started to accumulate some injuries, including this ankle injury against Valencia, which led to him being sidelined for a total of 15 matches this year, which was a real problem heading into his future. He ended the season with a total of 9 goals in his debut season, which was pretty good, but not at the standard the club was expecting. As the next 2 or 3 years rolled in, Joao Felix produced much of the same thing as his debut year. He struggled to get into good, consistent run of form, and he only managed to score a total of 20 goals in 75 games from 2020 to 2022. Now, there's always the argument that the reason why his output in Portugal was twice as high compared to any one season at Atletico is because Liga Nos is not as good of a league. But I debate the fact that he is not playing as well is because of the system he is playing in. Before and in the last couple of years, Atletico has relied on players like Alvaro Morata, Luis Suarez, and Angel Correa up front. It would be ridiculous to say that Joao Felix is a similar type of player as those guys. The Diego Simeone system has always been way too conservative with the ball, and in almost every game you see Joao Felix playing in, they're doing more work to get the ball back than to move it forward and have their young genius on the ball. Joao Felix is one of the most technically advanced players for his age, so there's a clear contrast between the two. Against all odds, he won Atletico Madrid's Player of the Year award, which was voted by fans in 2021-22, and that season he wasn't even a starter. So you can imagine the impact he makes when he plays and the love that Atletico fans have for him. But again, he still wasn't performing. Although the club had said this lackluster form from Felix for the last two seasons had been due to injuries, we all knew what the real reason was. But Felix is one of the most talented young players. When, you, when you're getting behind someone like Messi and Neymar, he's in that bracket for how talented he is. And he's playing for Simeone, who just wants him to work and dig in and graft. And it's like, it's just ridiculous. I just find it a hard watch when I watch. Before I continue on, only 0.8% of you guys watching are actually subscribed. That is way too low. So if you could please hit the sub button and try to get it up to 1%, that would really help me out. Thank you. So if any player was in this situation, you would think to get out of the club, find another club, another manager that would get the most out of you and your abilities. And that was exactly what Joao Felix tried to do. After a Champions League match against Club Bruges, Joao was on the bench and Simeone asked him to warm up as usual. He did this not once, not twice, but three times. And Joao didn't even make an appearance in this match. This gesture was the last straw for Joao Felix, and he requested a transfer for the very next day. Fast forward to January, and Joao Felix made his famous loan move to Chelsea for the second half of the 2022-23 season. The virtually explicit hope for the half-season loan spell on both his and the club's part was that Felix might rehabilitate his reputation and transfer value somewhat ahead of the summer so that Atleti could sell him. But nonetheless, he made his debut against Fulham, and his debut was pretty good when he was playing until he got sent off in the 58th minute for this tackle. Not a good start to his stint in England. Joao Felix did happen to score a few goals for the Blues, but this Chelsea team he was playing on was in the worst form the club has seen since Felix was born. Joao didn't really move the needle much at all and probably did more harm than good for his career. 
At the end of the season, when his loan move was up and Pochettino came in as the manager of Chelsea, and he was tasked with making the decision to permanently sign Joao or not, he opted to send him back to Spain and he returned to Atletico with the same problem he had before. At this point, Felix is ready to get out of Atletico and Atletico is long overdue to sell him. However, there's one thing that is stopping them from doing that. You see, when Joao Felix signed to Madrid for 127 million euros over an eight year period, the transfer fee spreads out over the eight years, allowing Atletico to stay in the green when it comes to the financial fair play rules. But if Joao were to leave with say four years left on his contract, that would leave 65 million euros on Atletico's balance sheet, which would have them breach the FFP. However, if they were to sell him for a big enough figure, it would even out. The problem is that Joao Felix's market value has dropped significantly after he came back from Chelsea, down to around 40 or 50 million. At this point in time, there was no chance they were getting that much, so that with him falling out of favor of Atletico and little options for a transfer, he made another loan move to Barcelona for the entirety of the 2023-24 season. When he joined the Catalan club, Atletico fans were furious, and he had lost the support of his parent club completely. ¿Quieres que se quede Joao Felix en el Atlético de Madrid? No. Porque es un niñato. Claro. A mí es que Joao me gusta, el problema es que es un poco ni... es, un... es como un niñato. Me es indiferente, si alguien paga lo que vale, puede irse. He made his Barca debut against Osasuna and he did not look back. He started to heal his reputation and his talent was on full display. He proved through his performances, though he might not have scored a bunch, his creativity and technique were exactly what Barcelona needed at that time. When it came to him playing against his parent club, he scored the only goal to win the match. In the reverse fixture, Felix opened Barcelona's 3-0 victory over Atletico Madrid, helping his side move to the second spot in the Liga table. He had a true resurgence in his career and it seemed that he was back on track. However, I wouldn't be making this video right now if he was. After Barcelona's win at Atletico Madrid, Joao Felix became the center of a lot of criticism. Some trashed his jersey with drink cans of food, while others even set fire to it. Atletico fans do not know the things that have happened here during the time I've been here. The fans don't know what happened inside, I understand them, but I shouldn't be seen as the bad guy. Even my relationship with Atleti players is good. The result of all this controversy has forced Joao to become almost an outcast at Barca, or that's what the media is saying. Some of his teammates have come out and said that he keeps to himself and numerous times after the Euros. <laughs> He's been seen training alone. At the end of his loan spell, he has scored a total of 10 goals and 6 assists in all competitions, which is pretty impressive for him, but sadly, he had to head back to Atletico Madrid at the end of the season again. It seems that he cannot escape. Joao Felix would actually play Atletico's first preseason fixture against Getafe, in which he would actually score a goal. But as the transfer window approaches its last three or so weeks, what is the next move for Felix? It has been recently reported that Julian Alvarez has left City and signed to Atletico Madrid, which means that Joao Felix has truly fallen down the pecking order, and I'm positive that they are adamant to sell him. While a permanent move to Barcelona is technically still on the books, it seems unlikely Brocolona are paying 50 million for him, considering their bigger target is to land Nico Williams and Danny Olmo. Benfica has offered to take him back for 30 million, which seems low, and it is financially irrelevant responsible to take that from Atletico's position. However, the most likely deal to happen seems to be none other than Aston Villa. With Moussa Diaby on the plane to Saudi Arabia, this replacement makes total sense, and with Felix already having experience in the Premier League, I think he'll make a great fit under Unai Emery. This deal could go as much as 60 million, which would fulfill the needs of Atletico, and really anything is possible on the last day of the transfer window. Joao Felix still has a lot of his career left, and it is not too late for him to recover the damage he's done to his reputation in world football. So let me know in the comments where you think he's headed this summer. Is he staying or is he going? And as always, make sure to hit the sub button, and I'll see you guys next week. Peace.